It's not that God needs our money. He's not up there pacing the floor, wringing his hands saying, man, if these people don't tithe, I'm going to have to shut down another church. Uh, he's up there looking for our heart. And giving and tithing and being faithful, man, I could go hours on this issue because I'm a giver. It's who I am. I love it. And I love it says in Corinthians that he loves a cheerful giver. So when Christians get in, we get in a big debate about, do I have to tithe? Wasn't it part of the law? This Malachi thing, is it crazy? Uh, I just say, forget that. Biblically, tithing occurred before the law. I'm right on with Malachi 3. Bring your tithes into the storehouse where you eat. You know, like you don't eat at Wendy's and pay at Burger King. I believe in pouring it back into the house where you're fed where you're tied in, where you're volunteering. But God, God's church can go on and ministries can function without your money. He doesn't need it. What he needs is our heart. The important thing is, you know, we didn't get married and, and ask our wife, uh, listen, how much time do you want with me? Or how much of me do you want to walk down the aisle? Or how much, do, what do you want as far as what percentage of love? You know, and it's funny to me that we, we'll tip the waitress or waiter at least 15%, and then we fight with God over tithe. Man, I just say just give. Give cheerfully, give hilariously, and watch what God does, and you'll be blessed because tithing is about our heart.